from multinational studios to one person passion projects thousands of Xbox I know we're gonna see hey development for you right now just today we showed you 60 games we are now experiencing are we getting near the end matched expansion of creativity on Xbox gaming for you means connecting all of these creators don't tell me we're near the fucking end man I thought we were only like halfway fall, through we announced our ambition to empower everyone everywhere to play by bringing Xbox to the cloud we will do all right this yeah, in two down. ways through project X cloud and through console streaming Two months ago, we connected all Xbox developers to Project X Cloud. Today, we invite those of you here at E3 for our first public hands-on of Project X Cloud. <laughs> to experience the freedom to play right here at the show. And you'll have two ways to stream. There's a new platform feature, console streaming. It turns your Xbox One into your own personal and free xCloud server. Whether you're using a console in our data center or your console at home, this October, you'll be able to use our hybrid gaming cloud to play your Are games. Are they seriously going to get out before, uh, what, what they go? Google, wow. Where you play is now entirely your choice. You decide. So let's talk about our next console. Let's do it. For us, the console is vital and central to our experience. We heard you. A console should be designed and built and optimized for one thing and one thing only, gaming. Damn right. You're goddamn right. So the same team that created the world's most powerful console, Xbox One X, and innovated its groundbreaking processor and the Elite controller. The same team that engineered the world-class compatibility of today's Xbox One consoles. The same team that set the bar for live gaming services with Xbox Live. This same team set out on a new mission to create the future of gaming for you. When we think about the future Xbox of gaming, Sky, yeah. it's not just PC, it's not just console, it's not just mobile, it's really all of the above. Xbox is all it's about not mobile, fuck We're investing in technology all throughout it's the It's not mobile. Today. The games you want with the people you want on the devices that you want. And for us, that starts with our next generation console. We don't want to build just another console. We truly want it to be transformative. More immersion, more exploration, more detail. How do we make it easier for people to get into the game, to stay in the game? One of the things that gamers and developers are incredibly excited about is reducing load times. I'm SSD, a gamer, yep. And so, like, loading screens are a thing. You're sitting there in the fake elevator because you know that the game's loading in the background. This is just an elevator ride forever. That's our goal with gaming, is that you don't have those pauses this generation is going to be a bigger leap than any generation we've done before at the heart of our next generation console is our custom design processor leveraging the latest zen 2 and navi technology from our partners at amd yeah from a bigger processing perspective this is four times more powerful than the xbox one x we're leveraging high four times more powerful to ensure that we're getting the best performance possible it's going to usher in resolution and frame rates that we've never seen before. Like, never seen before. We're looking at frame rates up to 120 frames per second. 8K capability, variable 8K rate. 8K capability, rate. no way we're doing 8K. Tracing. It's real time because it's hardware accelerated for the first time ever. What I'm personally most excited about is the SSD. We've created a new generation of SSDs. We're actually using the SSD as virtual RAM. We're seeing more than 40 times performance increases over the current generation. The combination of the SOC and the solid state drive are really what gives you a totally new experience. Um. Now we. Questions about. 
This is the most immersive console experience ever. What we really want to do is give developers the power to build the game they've always envisioned. We have hundreds of people across both our first party studios as well as our third party studios working on those next generation experiences today. It's an amazing commitment to content at Xbox Game Studios. There's 13 studios, seven in the last year. That's a big family. At 343, for us it's always about more seamless worlds with the next generation. We can bring the world to life in a way we've never experienced Halo before. Yeah, that basically confirms how you'll finish next gen. Content better than you've ever seen them before. This console is especially awesome for Game Pass members. With the faster load times, you're going to be able to experience all the games within just a snap of your fingers. We're giving gamers the option to connect across devices and across platforms in a way that we never were able to before. This isn't just a console launch. This is about the future of gaming. Your games, your achievements, your progression, your accessories, your console gaming experience with Xbox, it all comes forward with Scarlet. Scarlet is what they're calling it. Okay. Project Scarlet. Yep. Holiday 2020. Yep, that's kind of what we figured. Eat monsters for breakfast. Okay, that was cringe. This is Project Scarlet. No show of Halo. Soon, I think. The highest performing console we've ever designed. Built for creators to unleash their boldest creative visions and optimized for players to enjoy the ultimate gaming experience on a console anywhere. Immersive experiences begin at the very heart of the console, at the silicon level itself. Together with our partners at AMD, we have co-engineered and custom designed a state-of-the-art processor for Project Scarlet. Power you could see defined previous generations. Power and performance you can see and feel defines Project Scarlet. When we talk about freedom to play, when we talk about Xbox in the cloud, when we talk about streaming your games, Project Scarlet and all of its power and all of its performance is the foundation of our future in console and the formation of our future in cloud. We launched Xbox 18 years ago with a game reviewers called the definitive reason hey, to own an Xbox. Hey yo, Infinite. Well, because humanity was and is worth saving, next holiday, we will launch Project Scarlet with Halo. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I got the feeling this is gonna be it. I guess the two hours thing was the eye. The game looks gorgeous. Which you can kind of expect from uh, next gen, I guess. Thank you. 
UNSC Pelican Echo 216. Can you hear me? This is UNS. What? Looks like the main power cells are fried. Armor shut down. Triggering survival mode. I'm going to try to overwrite. Okay. If you can hear me in there, I hope you're ready. Please don't die. Please. Chief, I rerouted what little power I had into your suit. Hmm. Looks like there's a problem with the servos in your hands. Stay calm. You've been out there a while. I know I saw something in here to check your armor's diagnostics. I'm guessing this is the beginning of the game. There, big guy. You're not status report. The same report. voice. What? There's something you need to see, Chief. We lost. Lost everything. There's nothing left for us here. I don't think we're here is. No, 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 not then. Not again. We need to run. No, we need a fight. Get ready. Yes. gonna be the game Kevin. I chose you because you were special. I knew we would be perfect together. And I was right. Oh shit boy. We're not gonna see game Kevin? I guess that was what they considered gameplay. Is this actually the end? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Cyberpunk was the highlight for sure. Cyberpunk was the highlight. It was nice to get Outer World release dates. We didn't even get a Dying Light release date. We got it. No new announcements. No new fucking announcements. That was a major disappointment. I'm sorry. That was not good. What were the three new IPs? That was poor. That was a terrible conference. That was a terrible conference. This was Microsoft's chance, and they fucked it.
There's got to be something else. Come on. This is it. That was a terrible conference. Wow! Is it actually done? Oh my god. Okay, well, I'm just gonna wrap this up. This was fucking awful. This was pathetic. Pathetically bad. Yikes. Cyberpunk looked amazing, and I can't wait for it, but nothing else stood out. We got a trailer for the Outer Worlds, which was cool. Hey, yo, you're cool. I'm disappointed. I'm going to be back at 8pm for the Bethesda conference, which is probably going to be even fucking worse. <laughs> I'm going to see you guys in a couple of hours. Peace out. My god, this was disappointing.